Hi, this is Ambie from Board Game Blitz, and this is my news update vlog thing for May of 2022. Vlog thing. News update vlog thing. Crystal was a guest on the YouTube channel Board Game Dads. They did a live stream where they went over their top 10 Wordle variants. So Wordle isn't a board game, but it's kind of board game adjacent. It's like mastermind with words, but then there's a lot of variants that have come up because Wordle was really popular. And so there are lots of different games that are taking the Wordle name, <laughs> blank dole or whatever. So anyways, if you like Wordle and Wordle variants, then go check out that video. On our channel, if you didn't see the six year anniversary video that I posted, uh, go check it out because I have a giveaway going on. So yeah, like this YouTube channel has been around for six years which is a long time. And this was the first year that I celebrated the anniversary because I remembered about it. <laughs> so I decided to do a giveaway of a game or puzzle that will fit in a flat rate box chosen by the winner and then some other stuff that will fit in a flat rate box. It's USA only, but you can check out the video for how to enter. Next month, I'll still be busy with editing my next song parody and I'll still be busy with my children's book. But I was still able to find some time to make some videos for this channel, which is exciting. Uh, coming up this month will be an unboxing of 1873, <laughs> which isn't a huge video, but then also my first ever review. I'm going to review Tragedy Looper, which is one of my favorite games, and that video will be coming out in a few weeks. So as I mentioned, I'm going to be pretty busy with my upcoming children's book, and there will be a video coming out later today that's kind of intro to that, and it has some of the art sneak preview, uh, but I also have a mailing list for that. So you can sign up for that if you're interested. Uh, I'll have a link down to my website where you can sign up for that. Uh, but also I, because of that, I uh, got a PO box um, so that I can have an address. <laughs> and so if you ever want to send me stuff, I guess you can send me stuff on the PO box, but don't actually do that because I, I don't want to actually have to visit the post office too much. I had a couple of acquisitions in April. First, I got the funny pages, which I backed on Kickstarter. I actually got a review copy of the promo pack of this before the Kickstarter. Um, it was a promo pack for the Kickstarter, but then I backed the Kickstarter because I liked it. And so this is like puzzles in comic form. It's like a whole month of comics. So there's going to be, I think, 29 comics. It's February leap year. And then each comic it points to a day of the week as the solution. So like hidden in the puzzle thing. So uh, I'm excited for that. I also got a review copy of the Hinks Gazette box set. So this is by the company that did the Curious Elevator of Mr. Hinks and the Curious Stairs of Mr. Hinks, which are both escape room type board games that I really liked. Uh, and they have these newspapers called the Hinks, Hinks Gazettes, which is like a newspaper with puzzles in it. And then this is a box set that comes with five of the newspapers and then some cool memorabilia like a pin and a pencil and a sneaker, sneaker, a sticker. Yeah, so that was a review copy and I'll be going through those puzzles and it'll be fun. I also got a gifted copy of this shirt that I'm wearing. Here, you can see, this is from the Meeps. They have a spring collection on right now and this is one of them. It's like tulips in the shape of a meeple, which is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, at themeeps.co, I'll have a link in the show notes. But if you want to get some apparel, they have like board game apparel, but also like earrings and stuff, like some accessories. And, and they have really cool designs. So this is just one of them. This, they don't have this exact shirt, but they'll have like the design in different models of shirts and stuff. So go check it out. For some reason, April is always like a low month for me in, in number of plays. But we played 21 plays of 14 games. A lot of those were children's games. But I did get a play of 1889 in, which was a lot of fun. A Shikoku 1889, but we played the old print and play version because Shikoku 1889 isn't out yet. But uh, we taught someone their first 18xx game and we actually used my how to play video for the first time, like instead of Toby teaching them in person. And it worked well, I think. Uh, he, he watched it twice on 1.5x speed and then we were able to play um, like a learning game. So that was a lot of fun. Another fun game that wasn't new to me was Last Light, which we streamed on Twitch for Tabletop Live Network. The Last Light is currently on GameFound uh, and it was designed by my friend Roy Kennedy and the stream was sponsored, uh, but it's like, it's a fun game. If you like 4X games, it was, it's fast too. We played it in an hour. 
So yeah, that was a fun game and a fun stream, and you can check out the VOD here on YouTube, which was posted earlier this week. And for the best new to me game that I played, it was Scooby-Doo Escape from the Haunted Mansion, which is a one-time play escape room type game. It's narrative, so there's like a lot of books with different passages in it, and you're the different Scooby-Doo characters. Everyone's playing cooperatively together, and then you're like interacting with different objects in the room and um, like solving puzzles and stuff, and there's actual physical puzzles that you solve. So I like escape room games a lot, and we had a lot of fun with this one. I'm actually talking about it on the podcast that's coming out this week. And for what I'm looking forward to next month, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I'm not thinking that far ahead right now for like playing games because I have all this other stuff on my mind, mostly like the, the projects that I'm working on, like the song parody and, and the book. That's taking up all of my, my thoughts. Other, I mean, also my family. That, that takes up most of my thoughts. <laughs> But that's it for this month's news update vlog thing. Make sure you check out the anniversary video to enter our contest, see how to enter the giveaway. And thanks for watching Board Game Blitz. Bye.